machine design can be a very complex process, and SolidWorks is uniquely suited to handle this task. On the screen is a medium-sized assembly of a capping machine from SolidWorks customer How Miller Engineering. This assembly contains many components and involves complex motion using motors and cams to accomplish the task of applying and closing caps on bottles. Drilling down into the base subassembly reveals many purchased components, weldments, pipe, tube, and hose routes, as well as belt drives for controlling the motion. Of course, it's all held together using SolidWorks broad library of fasteners. This brief demonstration will focus on how this jack shaft assembly was designed to fit in our machine. Let's start with basic 3D part design. We start with a sketch, and this part is going to be rectangular. Shortcut toolbars reveal commonly used tools for each task. SolidWorks can automatically add the dimensions, but these can easily be changed. Changing these dimensions drives the sketch geometry to the required size. Dimensions can be moved or deleted, and additional sketch relations can be added, allowing us to define the design intent. Adding depth is as easy as dragging my sketch in either direction, or it can be extruded about the mid-plane to maintain symmetry. I can use the rulers to precisely control the length. A clearance hole needs to be added for the shaft. This time, we will sketch on the top face and draw a circle. Automatic dimensioning tools again allow me to precisely size and locate the clearance hole for the shaft. Dragging the sketch away from the part adds material, and dragging into the part removes material for the clearance hole. Another hole needs to be added for the bearing. SolidWorks automatically captures the concentric relationship, and a dimension can be added to control the size. Using the rulers for precise positioning allows me to create the hole at the proper depth. To get these holes to the bottom leg of the bracket, we first define a symmetry plane using the midpoint of the vertical edge. This plane will then be used to mirror the clearance hole and the bearing board to the bottom. Sharp corners are tough to manufacture, so fillets can be added to the inside edges. You can easily size the fillet on screen or key in a value to control the size. Creating chamfers is just as easy. Window selection tools facilitate the selection of the edges for the chamfer. We need to mount the bracket in our assembly, and for this we will use the hole wizard. No longer is it necessary to look up clearance hole or tap drill sizes. Simply select the hole type, the standard and size, and SolidWorks takes care of the rest. Let's move on and create an assembly. We'll start by assembling the bracket, then the shaft. The shaft can be located in the assembly by smart mating it. Simply drag the shaft onto the hole and SolidWorks adds the appropriate mating relationships. The same can be done for the shoulder of the shaft to position it axially. Next, we'll add a bearing from our design library. This bearing automatically sizes itself to the shaft on which it's dropped. In this case, it's a 17 mm bore bearing. A retaining ring needs to be added to capture the bearing in the housing, and again, SolidWorks automatically sizes it to the bearing bore and positions it in the hole. But what about the groove for the retaining ring? With SolidWorks Smart Feature capability, information about the groove can be stored in the retaining ring part so that it doesn't need to be looked up when used later. Next, we will add a couple of pulleys to the shaft. As we have done before, these can be dragged from the design library and smart mated to the shaft. This larger 36 tooth pulley requires a mounting bushing. Smart features again can be used to capture this mounting information inside of the pulley. Here, we're not adding mounting features, rather additional mounting parts are added to save me the time of having to look them up and assembling them manually. The bushing itself also contains smart features that automatically add the keyway to the shaft and the associated shaft key. This brief demonstration illustrates just some of the time-saving tools that SolidWorks provides to design more efficiently. Let's take a look at some other tools that are available. SolidWorks 3D Content Central is a free web service for locating, configuring, and downloading 3D parts and assemblies. Millions of certified parts are available from hundreds of suppliers, as well as nearly half a million user-generated models. This is where we get the bearings, retaining rings, and pulleys used in the assembly. No project is complete without drawings. SolidWorks allows you to quickly and automatically create accurate detail drawings for manufacturing. Assembly drawings are just as important. SolidWorks provides isometric, section, detail, and exploded views, as well as automatic bill of materials and balloons to fully document your designs. With SolidWorks, you'll get your machines designed faster than ever before, reduce time to market, and ultimately design better products.